welcome back uh, again uh, now we will start our new topic which is what is a loop so in production philosophy the uh, word loop is used very very widely and uh, you should able to understand this uh, word which is a production terminology for especially for production engineers there are for example you have a bulb basically so you can see you have a bulb and you want to connect a DC supply to it so you will connect positive and you will connect negative to this one so you have to give positive and you have to give negative it is called a one loop so basically loop is essential a two ended path where current can flow so <coughs> here you can see example of uh, two different circuits so this is the circuit normally you can visualize as actual and the same way if you draw this circuit you can draw in a diagram way like this so there could be uh, obviously there will be one AC loop in the panel which is for lighting and heating and one loop is uh, there are more than one loop in DC for example if you have a two system duplicate production plus backup you you can normally what we are doing that first production distance relay we are running on one DC loop and another production we are running on another DC loop uh, and on back of our current relay in, in, the, in the second loop so let us see the drawing so here you can see easily the supply AC supply is coming inside the panel from external source and this is you can say is one loop which is one AC loop okay and from this loop one supply is connected to a bulb and another one is to socket and the space heaters uh, in, uh, in the drawing also uh, they are mentioning the name of each loop so they are using simply PH and N because there is only one AC supply so let's see now another loop here so this is the positive supply okay uh, there are uh, uh, 2 to 20 volt DC supplies this is positive this is negative this is the loop this is a DC source 1 they have named it loop 1 DC 1 this is the DC source 2 they have ma make it DC 2 and this is a changeover so if one supply is fail so it is automatically changing over to the another supply so here you can see after making the changeover they have mentioned another loop they are take one, taking one loop also from it through this MCB naming L1 plus and L1 minus so you can see this loop this is the AC supply phase and neutral this is the CT circuit again CT circuit okay you can see immediately this loop coming from L1 this is L1 plus and it is going to 31 and this is L1 minus this is a DC supply loop so it's coming in and then going out coming in and going out coming in and going out so in this way they have taken a single positive supply and then they have through loop in out in out they are taking over all the panel so this is the concept of DC supply so in this panel we have only one loop DC loop uh, and uh, in order to protect the supply we have a changeover so in some conditions uh, they are providing two loops uh, one for main protection one for backup protection this is one option or and also we have one loop for EC so this is how the loop philosophy works thank you